What's up? It's your boy Taylor Bennett, and you're checking out Music Exclusives TV. Let's get at. What's up, you guys? I'm with Taylor Bennett. I'm Chaos Talks, and this is Music Exclusive. What's the vibe? How you feeling? What's the vibe, man? I'm good. Uh, the show didn't happen yet, mm -hmm. so I'm just excited. My shirt is off. It's, it's funny, because the people watching, they might think the show just got over, and I'm like, oh, man, this is, but no, nah, I'm just walking around. Yep. Like you literally just came in. Like, this just kind of... Yeah, you know the whole thing about it is I think it's like a comfortability thing. Um, I did a project in, like, 2018 called Be Yourself, and I had on, like, these little ass... Like rainbow underwear. Uh -huh. So now I just am like, I don't walk around with just my underwear unless I guess I'm at the house, but I do walk around without my shirt like a lot. Uh, yeah. It's just like a comfortability thing. I feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah, I feel much more comfortable with underwear too. So, <laughs> <be> <laughs> so this, this, um, this tour that you want right now, you just came from DC. How was DC? DC was cracking, man. Um, it was a really dope city. It was a great time. My pops used to live in DC for like okay. a really long time. So he worked with Barack Obama and I used to go out there with my brother all the time and it's a good time. It was lit? Yeah. Okay, so this tour that you want is to be yourself, be a champion, right? Yeah, it's sponsored by Champion. Shout out to Champion, man. How did it happen? So uh, I'm independent. Okay. I'm an independent artist. So a lot of people, I know there's like a cloud surrounding independence in terms of like understanding it. Like what does yeah, it actually like, mean? Get down for people who don't know. So yeah, for like, um, I would say I'm not the most successful independent artist for sure, but that person would be my brother, and I do manage him, so I feel some kind of way. But um, I am pretty successful to be independent in terms of the amount of money I've been able to make, but also the amount of people that I've been able to reach. Mm -hmm. So a big thing when it comes to setting up experiences like this is that you should always have partners. Like even this interview, like it's like a partnership, like it's a reciprocal relationship. You have what you got, I got what I got, and we're sharing it, we're getting together and doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so with the champion thing, I already had, like I said, the brand Be Yourself from a project. Right. I made it hoodies. It became like a super hot thing. Um, it was dope, and I think the thing that's dope about it as well, and I don't tell people this as much, but so you're gonna tell it right here on music exclusive. I'm gonna tell it right now. Right now. It's an exclusive. This is, you know this is an right exclusive. Here, like, so I don't tell yeah. people this that uh, that much, but be yourself. After I put the project out in 2018, mm -hmm. um, I had to make merchandise for it. That's part of you know putting anything Branding. out, right? Branding, marketing, right? Money, right? Money. So. I was trying, I was like lost because the project was so much about self-expression that how can I expect somebody to be expressing themselves when they're representing somebody else's face or their name like big as fuck on their chest. So I was like, I don't know what merchandise I'm gonna make, but in the meantime to promote the album when I'm doing shows and when I'm outside and when I'm doing interviews, I'm gonna get these hoodies made that say be yourself. Mm -hmm. And then like after a couple months, motherfuckers were blowing me up on Twitter, blowing me up on Instagram. They're like, yo, where can I get this hoodie? Where can I get this hoodie? And I'm like, okay, we'll make some hoodies. And then it became like a really, super genuine organic independent um project that just blew up a lot and thankfully to champion um champion. they were willing to work with us because they understand the point of the be yourself project in itself it was about expression and it was also about creating an environment where people felt comfortable to start learning who they were so they could mm -hmm. like grow so when i was a kid like music is my life like it's my world like i love music and music used to be a thing for me where it would take me somewhere else. And that was what the purpose of the project was. But then when we did the hoodies and it was like a billboard of positivity, yeah. it became something that was changing the environment because people would see it. And it's not saying I'm myself, it's saying be yourself. Like it's also telling them to do something, right? Yeah. Um, and a positive thing. So I guess the whole thing that I'm really trying to wrap it down to is that Connecting that brand with Champion allowed me to stretch that environment into live shows, into those, and the live shows are important and the merchandise are important, not just because the money and because they're cool to come to, but again, it's about creating this environment. And a lot of times, the places when I was growing up that I didn't feel comfortable or accepted, first day of school, damn, your shit bummy as hell, you look bummy as hell. So what do we do? We have merchandise for that. You know what I'm saying? Like we have, um, merchandise that's fire, that's dope, that's affordable, right? And then other places that I didn't feel accepted sometimes or I felt misplaced, mm -hmm. parties, concerts. So they gave me the, yeah, of course. So like there was a lot of times I go to different concerts even to this day and I might be like, eh, I don't know if this is my vibe, right? Like I don't know, like it's like so, and you know like that's how things are. Like there's genre boxing, there's labels of sexuality, there's certain places or areas that are more common for others to be than maybe some other people. So it's okay. a thing, right? I think I get what you're saying. Yeah. So basically what I'm saying is like, 
the tour is free. Uh -huh. So like tonight, it's it a free is. show. So there's all these kids that are now being able to go somewhere for free mm -hmm. and be themselves and feel like they're in a space where they can not only be tapped in with all different other genres of music and somebody that might represent a community that they like recognize with yeah. but i think the bigger thing is that they can look around and see how many other people are in that same space with them mm -hmm. and i think that's like the ultimate goal for my music is to bring people together and to show us that we have so much more in common than we think and we can like exist together yes we, we can, can exist but not even just space. exist but existing is growing so we can yeah. grow together and that's the whole point of it is like and as I'm sure a lot of people do, you meet your friends at concerts, you meet your friends at school. And that's what I'm saying is like, I wanna create brands and I wanna create something that people feel like if I wear this, I'm not just supporting myself, but I'm also being able to recognize with a group of people that will love me for who I am, genuinely. So like be yourself is a whole movement. I appreciate it. <laughs> you got some merch for me upstairs? Like, I do, yeah, I definitely got some shit for you. I would love for you to wear on your fucking show. I like I said, you know what I'm saying? So I give it to you for free. And they do use this word, but it's not really free, but it is free promo if you wear that shit on your show. And I that's a part of being independent. Because I think it's really partners, important for us to be like authentic people. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now let's talk about the music, right? Music is your life. Becoming myself. Becoming of age. That's the name of the project, right? Um, the name of the project is Coming of Age. I think you said it right the second time. Uh -huh. But yeah. So okay, yeah. can we can we scratch that? Like, can we edit that out? Uh, no, it's becoming. It no, we're not gonna let them edit it out. No, edit definitely edit it out. No, edit. It's becoming. It's becoming because no, I was edit. listening to it on my way here. It's becoming of age, right? Yeah. Okay, so the album, the project is becoming of age. Why did you name becoming it that? Of age. Okay, we can leave this here. Yeah, um, we're leaving this. We're leaving this here. Okay. <laughs> it's okay because it's it's just coming of age. Yes, it's so it's not a the. I wanted it to be a the so bad. watch videos of like Jay-Z or like Kendrick Lamar mm -hmm. or like anybody that you look up to and you respect and somebody or like somebody calls Barack Obama the wrong name in like an early interview mm -hmm. those things are so motivational for the narrative so you always like you know you learn from your mistakes I'm not gonna keep going and I want you to ask your question no no um I, I wanted this to be a the so bad um I don't know it's like I don't know I, I just feel like it's the because it's like the would make it, it is a lot of my own story, so the would kind of make it a singular more thing. I think the idea, but go ahead, you ask me your question, because I'm gonna just steal your interview. Well, let's interview, like interview me. Okay, no, no, okay, so coming up age, why did you name it that? Um, so yeah, I think the reason, or not I think, the reason why I named coming of age, coming of age, is because there's so many different crossroads in life, right? Like this project isn't something that was just supposed to and my music has never been, but this one purposefully isn't something that was made to only fill the clubs or to fill the concerts or to fill the stadiums. It was made for everything. Like it was made to be played everywhere. And it was also made really to be shared with other people. So the concept of coming of age is that in everybody's life, multiple times, every day, like you have crossroads, like you have different choices and options you can make. Like when you woke up this morning, you could have gotten coffee or you could have got tea or you could have drank water or you could have drank orange juice or you could have took a car or you could have took an uber or you could have did like there's so many different decisions that you make with choices every day. yeah and then it's also from a deeper standpoint those coming of age moments like am i going to go to college or am i going to become an entrepreneur or am i going to come out to my family or am i going to keep this to myself or mm -hmm. Am I going to befriend this person even though I don't think they're the best person, but they do have something that's beneficial for me? Like, because not only is that a crossroad, but it's also an experience and something that everybody goes through. Mm -hmm. And it's also a part of growing, is making those decisions. And then for the cover art of coming of age on the- Yeah, it's like split. Right, so it's so split. Like and that's, a, so split there's, the and I love that because there's the split and there's, because there's two sides to everything. Again, it's a crossroad. So it's like, you can go this way, or you can go this way. And on the left side, it's like me with a backpack, maybe leaving a university or maybe, you know, whatever it is, I'm dependent, but I am independent of being poor. It's kind of what that depiction is. Like, honestly, like it's like as a college kids with a backpack and like basically dependent or I was or I am depicted as dependent on the system. Okay. Right. And then on the right side, I don't have a shirt on. You don't 
see anything. I know, right? That's because that's who I am. Like, that's <laughs> funny, but like, I feel like that person is more of who I am. Okay. Um, and that's funny because you just made me realize that, yeah, seriously. This is um, but it's like that person doesn't really know what he's going to do. And that person is more optimistic and has um, more of a vague perception of where he's going to go. But I made that as a thing because usually everybody says you have crossroads. Like I said, my dad taught me that when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But the truth is they are crossroads, but usually both of the options are not as clear. One might be very clear, which is I'm going to go to college and this college is going to be great. It's going to help me get this job and I get this job and I do this. But then, oh, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. But what if I don't get a check next month? What if I don't have health care? What if I don't like, you know, like or health insurance or like, you know, like dental insurance? Like that's the other side of shit. And so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just like that's kind of the depiction right there is like you have those two options and it's never one is always more clear it's just been my experience than the other you know and always with all those journeys is it to end in result in happiness is that um what you're going towards? no i think that like well i think the whole thing about it is like i think that people i think people think money would make them happy and i think people want to be rich more than they want to be happy definitely you get what I'm saying? I think talking about making all of those choices is always like, okay, is this going to satisfy me? Like, where do we make um, just as simple as like coffee or tea? Exactly. Or juice or water. I think yes. the goal is what is the intention of it all, right? And you know what's funny is that a lot of times, and we don't think before we act. We so really the funny thing is that, and I love like, um, shout out to Kendrick Lamar because his album just dropped yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I love Kenny. That's like family. Um, but also he talks about something that's really it's very interesting. He talks about going to a funeral and they're serving Popeyes. And like, that's always been my experience when I go to Finner. Or, I mean, it's lit and shout out to Popeyes. Um, but I think what he's saying more so is that there's so many ways that you could die, right? Mm -hmm. um, you could get shot, but also we know that like obesity is a major issue in America. And especially in, I think more particularly, he was making the case of our community, the black community, right? Mm -hmm. And I think what he was saying is that sometimes comfort food or most of the time, comfort food can kill you, especially if we don't have the proper education to exercise and those kind of things. But he's also saying that the comfort food is there and is there to comfort somebody that died. And I think he's just pointing out the flaws in some of the system or the systematic structure that we live in every day. So to what you were saying about the orange juice and the coffee, I'm also saying that those decisions, as small as they seem, have a huge result on your day. People drink coffee so they can be up and they can have a pet. Mm -hmm. You get the same thing from orange juice. A lot of people don't know that. I don't fucking know. But I do want to say this. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for doing the interview with me. So you came out like three years ago. Um, I wanted to know what made you come out and how has it impacted you now? It's the vape. Um, right? It's the vape. It's the vape. Um, what made me come out was I was about to be 21. And I say this a lot of times. I felt established like and I wasn't I think like it, the funny thing is like I wasn't as established as I thought I was like I had money I have friends mm -hmm. but I also just felt like I didn't I was independent of needing the support I just felt like if I said that at that point in my life it wouldn't change anything more than my career which I guess is like very important to me but I make music to make music so it wasn't like a it was just a thing like people might be like, damn, you gay. I don't fuck with your shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? For real. Like, that's what people think about, right? Especially in hip hop. I mean, I won't say especially in hip hop. We got to stop that narrative because. You don't think so? No, because the truth about that shit is that if you're white and you come out, like I did, I do majority work in uh, homeless LGBTQ community. And the reason why I do homeless youth is because usually when kids come out to their parents, they kick them out, yeah. right? Yes, you and you, and this is the truth, and anybody that's watching this that is gay or belongs to the community in any way, you lose things when you come out. Like, let's just keep that shit on it. Like, you could lose your friends, you could lose your house, you could lose your job, you could lose opportunities if you're trans and you want to go work somewhere and you make your transformation and then people don't want you there. Right. That's society, right? So, like, that was some shit that could happen. And I wasn't really that worried about that shit, again, because I felt like, one, I had a decent amount of money, but then also... I felt like my career had, like, what I had done in my career was great. Like, I never expected to, one, do that shit, but I also, again. So, I had something that was very rare that a lot of people don't have, which is I had stability that was around me. Um, mm. And that is one of the reasons why I felt more comfortable coming out at that point. And then 
So that's the reason why I came out was because I was about to be 21. I felt like all my life I had felt this certain way and I was so highly influenced by everyone else's opinion and perception of me around me. And then I realized one day how much influence I had on the people around me. And I was like, damn, who else feels like this? Yeah. So that was the reason why I came out. Um, and then you, oh, this is another part. Isn't wow. practicing my career crazy? I'm on a Be Yourself tour, sponsored by Literally. Champion. It worked out in so many amazing ways. And I always think about that, is that some of the toughest moments or pieces or parts or decisions in my life um, had the best outcomes. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to look back on. And it's crazy because um, I do believe that a lot of people support me because representation matters. So I do believe that there's people that love my music, but I also think there's people that like to see people like me be successful because it opens up the doors for other people to do the same True. thing. And it, with that said, I have been helped so much by the community. Like, I feel like it's a big thing. Um, and not just the LGBTQ, but the black community as well. And people like Young Thug that featured on Be Yourself, you know, helped me or verified the cover art for me. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, I, like I was texting the cover art and I was like, yo, uh, what you think about this shit? Cause the nigga puts out the craziest cover art. So I was like, if anybody's gonna tell me and he was featured on it, um, it's Thug. I texted Thug this shit and he was like, nigga, you just said it, be yourself. Like, I love that shit. So little uh, uh, Young Thug, um, I got so many different artists, uh, good friends, Lil Yachty that featured me, or I was featured on my project, Good Friend, and also, you already know, was one of the first rappers to ever have a cover of two guys kissing together. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop letting these motherfuckers tell us that we are in some way different, or we have this kind of hatred towards people in our community that doesn't exist in other places. Do I think that black people have more self-hate than other groups of people? Of course. Do I think that's because of us? No, nah, it's because of fucking slavery. That's why we are the way that we are. And we gotta, but I want you to know this too. It's not that hip hop is homophobic. Okay. It's that we have one, gone through more self pain as a community, but two, white people are, when there's, I have white friends that came out to their dads and they haven't talked to them in ever. That shit was over. I have friends that are from so many different backgrounds that represent as whatever they are. And again, they lost something, but they gained something too. And I did lose some shit. Like, even if I'm saying there were things that I didn't think I would lose, there were things that lost, but you know what? They didn't matter. Mm -hmm. The things that matter are these tours and these interviews and the people that I get to touch when I do the interviews with people like you. And that's what I think matters for you too, is having these moments and being able to use your outlet to put that perspective on somebody else's screen. It's like all the money and shit that's behind it. Like you're happy, right? I'm very happy. I think this is great storytelling. You know what I'm saying? But no, like seriously though, like you're happy though, right? Super happy. Like how happy are you? On a scale from one to ten? Yes. I'm like a ten. I'm a you're a ten. You're excited to see the show. I'm excited. So you're excited because you're going to see a show today. I'm Why excited. else are you excited? Tell well, I feel like I feel like this interview was really like. I felt like it was really good and it was intentional and you were really involved in it. And I got a lot of the answers like That's we, a good interview, though. Oh, oh, thank you. The conversations that we had, I didn't think that would go. It's like, it's so much I want to ask you. I know you got to run upstairs and get ready, yeah. but it's like, that's why I'm super happy. Cause it was like, Ooh, okay. It gets deep. Cause the whole thing with hip hop and it not being homophobic, it's like, we need to unpack that. Yes. And then you want to go to slavery. So many things you said, I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Predators, uh, I can say this, I'm independent. Okay. Presidents don't ever talk about slavery. <laughs> you got this here first. I'm time. just, hey, yo, just Straight one up. more time. Presidents don't ever talk about slavery. Niggas talk about the police. Motherfuckers want to talk about LGBTQ rights. Motherfuckers really want to talk about, before they talk about either of those things, the Environment Protection Agency, college loans, all types of shit. Tell the president to talk about slavery. Tell him what's up with the reparations. Y'all just forced Mark Zuckerberg to pay every motherfucker $400 and y'all ain't give nobody no reparations. It blows my mind sometimes. But hey, I do got to get to this. You and really I really know. appreciate this interview. But I was asking you if you were happy because I believe that if you have achieved this level of happiness like in your life, then I want you to know that there's nothing more that you should, you don't need anything else. And I'm not saying that to you to say that like you shouldn't strive because you should still, you should always want something more. Mm -hmm. But I just want you to get that you don't need anything else. Like you're okay you know and you're I great think? as you are. And I want you to understand that shit because 
the people that are watching this as well, you're good. We need to all stop trying to like, I know I got this rolly. This shit don't make me no stronger. I have to do push-ups just like everybody else. And this shit, <laughs> when I take it off, I just, I want people to start understanding that we should be happy with what we have. And the fact that we all want so much is why this shit is the way that it is. Just this interview was <laughs> fucking fire. Like, hey, appreciate yeah, your journey. I, I love you so much, man. I got a lot of love for him. You are an amazing interviewer. Shout out to your whole team, guy. man. Like, Appreciate your journey. Appreciate your journey. Like, yo, man, remember that one time we were in the basement. You know what I'm saying? Like, down through the thing. Fucked up scratches and you messed up the name. Listen. So we keeping that. I need this. We keeping that. We're keeping that. Now we have to keep. That's why I keep saying it. Cause you don't make mistakes. Be yourself to it.